नाइट्रोजन इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट इन द प्लांट बॉडी द होल ग्रीन ग्रोथ ऑन अ प्लांट इज मेड अप ऑफ नाइट्रोजन विदाउट नाइट्रोजन नो प्लांट कैन ग्रो वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी नाइट्रोजन बेनिफिट्स फॉर प्लांट्स सम ऑफ इट्स ऑर्गेनिक एंड फ्री सोर्सेज टू यूज फॉर प्लांट्स एंड साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ टू मच नाइट्रोजन सो कीप वॉचिंग दिस एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल नाइट्रोजन इज द की इंग्रीडियंट इन द होल वेजिटेटिव ग्रोथ ऑफ एनी प्लांट leaves and branches etc are made up of nitrogen deficiency of nitrogen in the soil appears in the form of yellowing leaves and a stunted growth overall nitrogen is the most important element in the plant body with the nitrogen in rich soil media we also get a lot of benefits like more production of chlorophyll that is essential for the consistent growth of a plant also better growth of leaves they will be shiny lush green and better in size and shape nitrogen also makes up the soil fertility means soil will be able to hold nutrients better in a nitrogen enriched soil mix plant will be able to develop stronger and thicker branches which results in better growth and stronger immune system while deficiency of nitrogen can do opposite of these so a good nitrogen source is extremely important to know about there are a lot of things around we can use as nitrogen source for our plants some are available online while some are a total waste of our kitchen you can add them into your soil time to time and improve its nitrogen so do subscribe to our channel first thing you can use as a nitrogen fertilizer is the green peels compost the green vegetable peels have a lot of nitrogen you just have to decompose them first the composted form is absorbed in the soil very well for making green peels compost you can follow the description box video and use this compost every 2 weeks in the soil a handful for a 10 inch pot is enough Another organic and free source of nitrogen is the tea and coffee grounds. Even the waste of tea is a rich source of nitrogen. Just rinse it to remove any sugar and dry it in the sun. After that, you can use it as a nitrogen enriched fertilizer. 2 to 3 tablespoons of dried tea waste are enough for a 10 inch pot. Use every 2 weeks with proper mixing. While for using coffee powder, you can take a small amount and mix it in 100 ml water. Use this coffee water directly to the soil it will absorb in the soil and release the nitrogen Another source of nitrogen is weeds the weeds are a rich source of nitrogen as well as other trace elements you can just bury them under the soil or make a compost if you have so many of them Another organic and an excellent source of nitrogen is the cow dung fertilizer. Cow dung is very high in nitrogen that's why you should at least dry it first and if you make its compost that will be even better. There is a whole video on cow dung its compost and uses linked in the description box. You can also make a tea from cow dung that will provide nitrogen instantly to the roots. All in that video so must check it out. Cow dung is also linked in the description box to buy. Another free and organic source of nitrogen is the bird's poop. All kind of birds excrete a nitrogen in rich poop. We can't use it directly to the soil because it's high in nitrogen. I have made this chicken manure using chicken's poop. Video on that is added in the description box. You can follow that and use it as a nitrogen fertilizer every 2 to 3 weeks and do subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. Fish tank water is also a rich source of nitrogen. Fish also excrete nitrogen. This nitrogen in rich water can be used directly to the soil. Just mix 5 parts of more water in it and feel free to use it as a nitrogen fertilizer. You can also buy a ready-made fish meal fertilizer from the description box link. It's made from fish leftovers. It's an organic fertilizer and have a high nitrogen. Use only 2 to 4 tablespoons for a 10 inches of pot every 2 weeks. There is also a detailed video on fish meal uses and benefits linked in the description box you can follow that Another organic fertilizer full of nitrogen that's also super easy to make is the green peels liquid you can simply collect green vegetable peels and put them in a liter of water Place this pot in shade and after a few days the liquid will turn into greenish color now you can mix it with eight parts of more water and use for your plants it's high in nitrogen around 100 ml is enough for a 5 inch pot liquid fertilizers have this advantage that they absorbs much faster into the roots and show their results so there is a detailed video in the description box on different liquid fertilizers you can make at home and some are totally free and are very useful One of the best organic nitrogen fertilizer is the blood meal. 
it's made of animal's blood and have high nitrogen you can also buy it from the description box use only one tablespoon in a five inches pot every two weeks this is enough to make the whole soil full of nitrogen video on blood meal benefits is also linked in the i button if you like to watch now the question is does every plant requires nitrogen as said earlier nitrogen is the key plant element it's required by all plants no matter it's a flowering fruiting vegetable plant or a succulent or cacti at the younger stage of a plant nitrogen is required more so the plant can get bigger and bushier while at the flowering stage nitrogen is required in lesser amounts so simply adjust the nitrogen use accordingly there are also some extreme side effects of too much nitrogen in the soil. The first thing is the excessive heat that can burn the roots overnight. But as most of these nitrogen sources are organic, that may not happen. Still, be careful about that. Better to use proper amounts. Another side effect is the delayed flowering and fruiting. Means nitrogen will postpone the flowering of a plant, pushing it more towards the leafy growth. Long-term use of nitrogen fertilizer also causes nutrient imbalance, means nitrogen will be high but other essential elements won't be present, that's very unhealthy. That's why you should also mix other elements in the soil like phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, etc. A whole playlist on different organic fertilizers is added in the description box. You can follow that to balance all elements in the soil. In high nitrogen medium, the roots are also weak. Phosphorus and potassium should also be available equally in the soil. Otherwise, your plants will keep struggling. Potassium forces the flowering and fruiting on a plant. So here is a detailed video on potassium benefits and its organic sources. Feel free to check it out and do subscribe to our channel.